Hey everybody, Carla here, and I have a confession to make. Well, alright, this video was about my confession and about something that I saw in this really great group that I belong to. Um, first, let me talk about the group posting. In this awesome group called Boots to Asses Juicers, I've talked about them before because it's just the coolest bunch of people and led by this absolute crazy person, J.R. Estrada. And... It, it's really encouraging and, and really group, great group of folks who talk about their juicing journeys and, and really encouraging of everybody who's on whatever day they are on, on their juicing journey. So there was a post the other day where this person said, I can't do this. I can't. I can't fast. Hats off to anybody who can do this, but I just can't do it. And that post got me thinking about what's going on with me right now. And what's going on with me right now is that I am considering embarking on another juice fast. And I said that I wasn't going to do it until later on in the year, and then, hey, it's June. It's, it's later on in the year. I look at the fact that there is a lot of weight that I still feel that I need to lose. Now, again, this is my journey. So people are like, oh, Carla, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's I know what I need to work on and, and the things that need to go with me. So I'm thinking about embarking on my on another juice fast. And I have to say that what immediately came up in my mind was the idea that I couldn't do it. I know, right? I, oh, how ridiculous is it for me to say that when I'm the one on these videos telling you that you can do it? For me to say that I can't do it, isn't that just plain stupid? I know. I know. No, no, no. I'm calling myself stupid. So that's allowed. That's absolutely allowed. <laughs> so, so yeah, I had this idea that I couldn't do it. And it went through my mind when I thought, should I do a juice fast? Well, I'm about to take Troy and Mark through theirs. And uh, yeah, maybe I could do it with them. No, you can't do this. Remember what it was like last time. And I have to say that my last juice fast was really hard, was really hard. I had the emotions and the crying and the Popeyes and all kinds of stuff. And that is what I'm thinking about when I think I can't do this. And I think that that's crap. I do. I think it's absolute crap. And anyone who says that they can't do a thing, whether it's juicing or eating healthier, or incorporating exercise into your life on a daily basis, or just making a change. If you start to spew that word can't, you and I are going to have to come to blows because it's just ridiculous. Of course you can. You can. Of course I can. I can absolutely do this. I can buckle down for 60 days and juice. I can transition myself into the process. I can juice for 60 days and then effectively transition myself out of the process. I've done it before. I can do it again. And it all comes down to the power of your own beliefs. Do you believe that you can't do something? Because if you believe that you can't, you can't. You can't. There is a, a pilgrimage that's, uh, I'm smiling even as I think about it. There's this pilgrimage that thousands of people take every single year in Spain. It's called the Camino de, uh, Cam I'm going to say this wrong, just to, mm -hmm. Camino de Santiago. And it's a five week, hundreds of miles trek through Spain, one part of Spain to the other. Takes uh, the, the, um, on average, five to six weeks to do this trek, and all you do is walk it. You don't ride it, you don't, you know, car it, you walk it. This is something that I have been attracted to. There's something about this pilgrimage, and I'm not religious in any way, shape, or form, but there's something about this pilgrimage that is calling to me, and it has been for years. And I have to say that I was talking to somebody about it the other day because I saw this blog post uh, about a woman who had just finished it and these gorgeous pictures that she took. And I was talking to this person and he said, you can't do that. What? What do you mean? You can't do that. He said it again. I, you had the nerve to say it to me twice? 
takes too much time, you've never done anything like that before, you have to get, you know, in supreme shape for it, blah, 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 what about the time away from your business and the money and the this and the that and the that. He ran down all the, he looked me dead in my face and ran down all these reasons about why I, not him, I can't do this thing. And I had to, I had to stop myself before leaping over the table and wanting to throttle him. I had to stop myself and think, how many times have you had this exact conversation with yourself? You're offended because it comes from someone else telling you you can't do it. But how many times have you talked to yourself this way? Have you said to yourself that you can't do a thing? Why are you pissed because he's saying it? It's just an outside thing. And that was the moment that I thought to myself, hell yes, you can do another fast. It's all about the power of your beliefs. It's all about knowing that anything is possible. Of course you can. Of course you can. And of course I can. So, here we go again. <laughs> Yet another fast. And it's going to be great. It's going to be easy. And it's going to be fun. And it's going to be energizing. And it's going to be healthy. And it's going to be exciting. And it's going to be awesome. And I'm not even walking into this thinking that it's going to be anything other than that. It's not going to be hard. It's not going to be gut wrenching. It's not going to be inconvenient. It's not going to be expensive. It's not going to be any of that crap. What it's going to be is awesome from jump. And that's all because I can do this. And so anytime you think that you can't, just take that little apostrophe T off because you know that you can. And I can. And we can. <laughs> yeah. So, in a couple of days, I got to clear out my cabinets and, you know, get myself in the transition plan and then start again. And I'm excited. I'll see you later.